Relegation threatened Queen's Park Rangers are the only team standing in the way of Manchester City winning their first Premier League title on Sunday. Roberto Mancini's side sit at the Premier League summit on 86 points alongside arch rivals Manchester United. Their superior goal difference means that victory would hand them their first top flight title since 1968 when they also pipped United to top spot. I'm very proud because I think that um, my players worked very well this year. Uh, I don't, when you're right here, you can lose or you can win, but when you fight uh, with a top team like United, uh, this one said that uh, we work well and I'm proud for this. We would like to win uh, this championship for our supporters. After 40 uh, more years, I think that for them it will be very important. Mancini's appointment came in 2009, replacing Mark Hughes after the Welshman failed to impress City's new Middle Eastern owners. And it's Hughes who brings his QPR side to the Etihad on Sunday, knowing victory would ensure safety. Hughes replaced Neil Warnock in January, with the remit of helping the London club clinch survival. With one match left, QPR are two points clear of the drop zone and Bolton Wanderers, who go to Stoke City. With a goal difference of nine in their favour, a draw should be enough. If we get a result, um, I'd be more pleased for everybody connected with Queen's Park Rangers. It wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't take any satisfaction from that. Uh, I'd be delighted for, for my team and my players because it would be a huge achievement to be able to do that. It's not been easy. It's arguably been the most difficult job I've had to date. Anything other than a victory for City would open the door for Manchester United to win a 20th title. Sir Alex Ferguson's team travel to Sunderland, where they haven't lost in the league since 1997. Sunderland play for nothing. I'm sure that they play 100%, but uh, they play for nothing in the last game. We are play for relegation. I think that uh, the same when we play against Newcastle. Newcastle played for Champions League and Swansea for nothing. For this reason, probably they had an easier game. One significant statistic against City is their form on the last day of the season. They've won just three of their 14 Premier League matches on the final day.